welcome to one of our Take 5 videos where we share short useful ideas about learning and work. I'm Stella Collins, Chief Learning Officer at Stella Labs and today we're going to explore what is psychological safety. You've possibly heard the term but you're probably wondering exactly what it is, why it's valuable and what you can do practically to build it. Psychological safety is that comfortable feeling you get when you can express your ideas and take action without worrying and be criticised. You feel safe to make decisions, challenge others, test ideas, start new things, and even make mistakes, knowing you're supported. Amy Edmondson coined the term, and she spent her career investigating its impact on people and performance, and her investigations show high-performing teams have high levels of psychological security because they're not held back by fear or concern, so they feel confident to, to share, to act, and move forward. Surprisingly, they actually make more mistakes than other teams because they're comfortable to experiment and take risks. So they try more, fail more and achieve more. Vitally, what they do is share those mistakes so everybody learns from them. Does this mean we should be happy with everyone running around making errors and feeling comfortable with it? Of course not. The risks need to be balanced, but to improve performance, we definitely need to learn from the mistakes that do occur. And that's why sharing the mistakes without blame or judgment, but from a place of curiosity, is so important. Blame, judgment, criticism, they all tend to make us feel anxious and fearful. They reduce our ability to think clearly. We can do the fight, flight, flock stuff and run away or shout back. But we find it much harder to take on board information and open our minds. Curiosity allows us to open our minds and seek solutions. And paradoxically, curiosity and fear are linked. The nucleus accumbens is part of your dopamine pathway for reward and motivation. And when dopamine levels are high at the back of the nucleus accumbens, we experience a feeling of fear. But when they're high at the front, we feel a sense of curiosity. Now, you clearly can't start consciously directing dopamine around your brain. But what can you do to promote psychological safety? So here's five top tips. One. Take an agile approach where you don't expect to find the right answer first time. Set up hypotheses, experiments and test them. And that way, you're always adding information to the knowledge bank about what works and what doesn't, which is just as important. Number two, use Carol Dweck's ideas about promoting a growth mindset. When someone makes a mistake, don't tell them you got it wrong. Instead, let them know you haven't got there yet. And that yet word is really important. Change the questions you ask from blaming ones to curious ones. Why did you do that? Automatically kicks most of us into defence. And we often snap back with, I don't know, which is probably true. Because the fear of the blame literally robs you of your ability to think clearly. Whereas, I wonder how that happened and what could we do to change? Focuses on potential solutions. Use feed forward instead of feedback. That means you explore what you can do to improve rather than focus on the past. Ask questions like, what support do you need to build on this? And separate the problem from the people. You can make this really concrete by choosing something physical to represent your problem, a piece of paper. Pick up the piece of paper and push it away from you and your team and then say, here's the problem. How will we solve it? Experiment with these ideas to find what works for you and your colleagues and share the mistakes you make. We're all human, so that you and they can carry on learning. See you next time.